Hi, I am Debbie Cook. I am a certified public accountant. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to set up your bank account in QuickBooks and link it with your online banking so it actually pulls down all of your transactions, all of your deposits, all of your checks into your QuickBooks so you're not having to rekey all of it. So, okay, let's take a look and get started. So we've already got a client set up in QuickBooks and at this point now we need to get our banking set up. So we are gonna go to banking and we are going to connect an account. Here is where you do have the possibilities that if you're working with a local bank that they may not allow for this or you may have to contact them directly in order for it to happen. So in here, like I said, if you need to check with your bank, it automatically gives you the options of a lot of the popular banks um, that a lot of people use. And that is not one of the banks that I'm trying to add. So I will see if I can find mine. A lot of times it may be easiest for you to go ahead and put in your banks. Okay, once you find your bank, you're going to click on it. Customer number, this is going to be your login to your bank account. Okay, and then once you get it in there, it's going to obviously want to verify who you are. So you can let it verify. If you're setting this up for your customer, then you wanna make sure that they're available to be able to get that code to verify that you're allowed to do this. So once you get your code, you're going to enter it. Okay, and then you also have the option issue, whether whatever you want, want to call it, with what bank account, if you have multiples set up on there, that you're connecting. So make sure you're choosing the one. You can connect all of them. Let's say you have a business and that you want to connect them all just go down through and choose to connect them all. If you just want one, then that's what we're gonna do. In this case, we're gonna bring in the entire year. If you had a someone or you're the business owner, if you already used QuickBooks and now you're going to QuickBooks Online, then all you do is choose when you want to start bringing it in. You can choose today. You can customize when you wanna bring it in. Like I said, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do the full year and click connect. This can and may and will take a few minutes, depending, especially depending on how many transactions it is. And then once it connects, it still may take a bit for all of your transactions to actually download. Okay, it says it was successful as far as downloading into here. So we also, on this screen right here, if we wanted to link another account, maybe you have a bank account completely different bank that you wanna go ahead and link. You can do that here. Um, you can go ahead and categorize your transactions directly from here, but we're gonna come in a different way. So we're going to say, remind me later. And then when we go back to our banking, we can see that we have our account here. And then it's really trying to help us out on how to do this. And you can see when we scroll down, all of the transactions are in here and then we have pages and pages of these transactions so we've got some work cut out for us so we will go ahead and start a new video session a little bit later about how to import those transactions categorize them so stay tuned <laughs> 